when I did my chaplaincy internship the summer after my first year of seminary, one of the things we talked about and practiced was accessing emotion. The summer was, more than anything else, a crash, crash course in having feelings. In our group sessions, when one of us was struggling to name an emotion, our supervisor would pull out a colorful feelings wheel and say, there are 136 different words in the English language for emotions, pick one. It was a method that worked for some and eluded others. The truth is that we all have different ways of accessing, expressing and, expressing and processing our emotions. There may be 136 or more words in the English language for different feelings, but there are countless more ways to experience and express those feelings. Some people do feel in words. These are our writers, our journalers, our poets, in an interview this week when inaugural poet Amanda Gorman was asked which images from the January 6th insurrection inspired her poetry, she explained that she doesn't think in images, but instead in words. So it was not pictures, but articles, tweets from that day that offered her inspiration. For others of us, it seems that our feelings are beyond words, that emotion cannot be encapsulated or in one or two or even 136 words. Instead, it may be movement or music or images that allow for that emotion to emerge. Whatever medium it is that you choose, whatever works for you, it does seem that there's something about creativity and imagination, something about art in all its forms that allows us to get to our feelings in ways that are deeper and more powerful than simply picking a word from a list. Art expands our perspective on our own emotions and helps us to better understand others' emotions. So today, I want to invite you into an exercise of using art to help you feel all of the feelings of this past month. We are not even 30 days into 2021, but it has already been quite a year. It has been a month of insurrection and inauguration, virus and vaccine. It seems like January has been trying its best to fit the full range of emotions into just 31 days or maybe even 24 without giving us a moment to pause and take it all in. So maybe this can be that moment. Jed has recorded some music for us and I asked him to put in as many feelings as he could. While we listen, I invite you to create art in whatever format works for you that represents whatever you are feeling in this moment about the start of 2021. Think back to all that this month has held for you personally and for our world. If you have paint or markers or crayons in front of you, use them to put those feelings into images. If words are not your style, do, or if words are more your style, do some freeform writing while the music is playing. If it's movement that connects you to your feelings, go ahead and move, dance or stretch to your feelings. As we near the end of this tumultuous first month of 2021, let's take a moment to connect with all that we are carrying in our hearts.
was so grateful to have an opportunity and an invitation to create um, earlier this year. I found out that on election night, there was something I could do to help focus my anxiety and my hopes and my fears. And I found that a children's book author and illustrator, Mo Willems, was hosting one of his art video sessions that he has been doing online since the beginning of the pandemic. I had enjoyed several of his lunch doodles, as he called them, and where he would invite you to draw or create along with him. And several of them were done with music. And my favorite was the Yo-Yo and Mo show, which was Yo-Yo Ma playing on the cello while he created art for all of us. And this is what we did on election night. Um, he partnered with musicians and invited those of us who were watching to create. And he walked us through a few different exercises, each with a different feel. Um, the first one was a chance to create out of other symbols. So he started with the number zero and three, because that was the date, and then created a picture from that. It was a, a very Mo Willems type of illustration of a bird. And very similar to the, the From You I Receive images that um, we saw where there's a line or a squiggle and then you see what you imagine from that and create something sparked by something that's already there. And I enjoyed that exercise. And the second one I also enjoyed, but it was a little bit harder. And it was very similar to the one that we just did um, where we were invited to just create our emotions and what we were thinking. And it kind of felt all over the place, it didn't exactly make sense. Um, and that's okay, because my feelings and emotions these days are absolutely all over the place. And, and that's okay, we're going through a lot. Um, and to have a chance to just create and just kind of feel with the music and try and tap into how that was relating to how I felt was a, was a, a helpful experience. And so I'm I wanted to share that with you today and invite you to try that to see if it worked for you as well. And the last exercise that we did was my favorite. It was called Big Connections. And I like that it had a little bit more guidance and yet it was still open-ended. Um, sometimes that's the kind of support that I appreciate, scaffolding around me to help make the next step a little bit easier as I build my confidence. And so with this exercise that I'm going to invite you to do along with me, if you choose, is to start with lots and lots of different colors, whether it's paints like I have today or markers or crayons, and start by just making lots of circles as you hear the music and fill the page with circles. And then we will do something together with those circles after we have created them with music. And this this art activity is called Big Connections. So you can choose to watch. Um, we'll be sharing my, my canvas, my paper here. Um, watch the circles as they're created or make your own. So let's see as we make them in all sizes and colors.
So we have lots of circles, lots of individual circles. And the next part of this exercise is to make sure that each circle is connected to at least one other circle on the page. So I'm going to start by connecting these two circles and connecting it to this circle as well, to this circle as well. See which, which ones we will connect so that no one is left out. and see how this changes the way that you are, you're drawing is created. You can see not everyone is connected to every single other one, but we're making sure that nobody is left out. We're actually connecting them. And I can't wait to see what your big connections look like. I think I've got all mine connected. Just making a few more connections. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for creating. Every act of creation is an act of faith.